Welcome Libra, welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing? We're going to see what the message is. is for you guys this week. What is the message for you this week? You got a lot of wish fulfillment going on for you guys. You have a lot of answered prayers, okay? So I feel like a new journey could be approaching for you guys. Uh, definitely feel like your your prayers have been, hands, have been answered. Sorry, I'm kind of tongue-tied. Just with the simple fact that we have the Four of Wands here with the Star card. You guys could also be getting a lot of rest, a lot of much needed rest going on for you guys. You might feel like you've been doing a lot. I feel like you've exerted a lot of energy and now it's time for you to kind of rest. I do feel like you guys could also be getting a lot of downloads, a lot of knowledge um, being passed to you at this time. A lot of spiritual uh, guidance and a lot of spiritual acknowledgement is what I'm feeling for you guys with this page of swords. Okay, so you guys could be going on a new healing journey, a new spiritual journey. So some of you guys could be tapping into shadow work at this time. Um, really having to put your hands and stuff dealing with uh, a lot of spiritual things uh you could be doing a lot of prayer in this time some of you guys could be going on uh, i'm hearing like a fast so you could be fasting but i do feel like a lot of quiet time a lot of prayers um you guys could also be taking time to heal yourself and rejuvenate yourself for a journey that you're about to go on i do feel like new conversations are starting so a lot of you guys could be communicating with your angels with your spirit guides ascended masters all of that good stuff right there okay do feel like wishes are starting to flourish right now some of you guys could just now be learning how to do some kind of skill okay and this skill could actually get you seen so there's something new that you could be starting you could be learning so some of you guys could be going back to school sorry my ear is like really bugging me right now like i don't know what that means okay <laughs> but anyways some of you guys could be going back to school right now uh or you could be just going in some kind of path of having to learn something whether this is career spiritual or education wise you guys are really trying to feed your soul feed feed yourself knowledge i think about this this star card and all i keep thinking about is the way she's giving she's picking up the water it's like she's about to scoop it to her mouth so it's just like you guys could be trying to replenish yourself okay so you could be ready to be in the spotlight so you guys are replenishing yourself rejuvenating yourself you're learning you're taking in everything that you can take in all right, and I feel like this is something fresh. This is something new, and this is something that's actually going to um, make you happy. <laughs> this is something that you enjoy. Uh, a lot of you guys could be going through some kind of ritual, okay? Um, I'm also hearing some of you guys are trying to learn how to astral project. You're like trying to learn how to do some kind of new spiritual stuff. Is what I'm really feeling for you guys right now. Like you're really in tune with doing something spiritual. I'm also hearing that you guys are also learning how to, y'all are trying to learn how to free up something. Okay, so this could be freeing yourself. You could be feeling trapped. So you're, you're trying to learn how to free yourself. You could be feeling trapped. Somebody could be trying to do spells to release themselves and free themselves from things. Somebody could be trying to learn herbal magic to deal with some kind of healing, um, healing of the body. There could be somebody around you that's sick.
Protection is there as well, Libra. Spirit has you well protected. Some of you guys could be looking to get married to an Aquarius. You could be looking for a stronger commitment. A ceremony could be coming in. Okay, some of you guys could be just, just had a graduation and went through a, gradu a graduating ceremony. Okay, so you were in the spotlight as well. All right, so we do have the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles here. Feeling a lot of financial for you guys down here. Some of you guys, <laughs> I don't know why, but the first thing that just came to my mind, some of you guys need to look into getting uh, life insurance. Seems like that's very, very important for you guys to get life insurance. I do have the Nine of Pentacles here with the Ten of Pentacles as well. I do feel like some of you guys could be having inheritance come in or money coming in for you. Unexpected money could be making its way to you as well. I'm also hearing that a lot of you guys have been splurging. You've been enjoying some new funds that you had come in. And there's nothing left. Like, you've used everything, like, buying all these material things, and you really have nothing to show for it. You've really put nothing away. And now it's going to put you in a compromising position with this Two of Pentacles. Okay, trying to figure out, uh, I don't know, I feel like there's going to be something that you didn't expect to happen. You know, like, you could be saving, you could be, okay, get my words together you could have had some money come in and then you're just like oh snap blessings and you're out there splurging spinning the bag spinning the bag spinning the bag spinning the bag libra you out here looking good you blowing money i can buy this i can get you this you out here trying to sprinkle on everybody you out here trying to shine live your best life you guys could be going on trips okay you could be doing a lot of things buying new jewelry getting your hair done getting haircuts new clothes or whatever you're not thinking about long-term investments you're not thinking about what you should have done some of you guys should have paid up your rent should have paid off something uh you should have put money into the savings or started different accounts and things like that or you should have made some investments okay something to allow your money to accumulate and build over time you guys really weren't doing that um and now it's just like something is going to come out the blue like a refrigerator breaking down or your car breaking down or something is going to come that you didn't expect and you're going to try to figure out like where can you pull money from or how you can make this work because you don't want it to interrupt the flow that you had going okay also for a lot of you guys it could be inheritance coming in for you guys okay there's i feel like there's also somebody watching your pockets so be mindful of that i feel like somebody could be definitely watching your pockets and watching how you spend somebody could have went through their inheritance and they see you living your best life and they could be watching you and feeling kind of like mm, mm, libra think they got it all or mm, libra think they all that type of stuff so you know don't worry about that oh light just went off but okay um y'all guys you know a lot of technical difficulties i don't know what's going on it's like messages are not wanting something's trying to block the message something is trying to really just mess up the vibe but that's okay i'm gonna keep going one light don't stop the show <laughs> all right so we're gonna get some clarity on this as well Hearing 401ks getting started, um, new adventures. Somebody could be taking a new journey. Somebody could be learning something that's going to give them. Somebody's coming up with something that's bringing in like a residual income, it's money that's going to continuously come in or passive income. Libra, you working on something like that? Like I said, wish fulfilled. You have the star with the nine of pentacles. And that's just like happiness. You have a lot of happiness here. You have a lot of fulfillment coming in for you guys. Whether this is with finances or relationship, you guys are feeling good. You're feeling replenished. Uh, you are in the spotlight. You are being seen. Okay, so I don't know. I feel like things are going to start growing for you. Whatever it is that you're, you're working on doing or you're just now starting up, it's going to create a good epic flow for you guys.
I'm hearing that you guys are having to balance a knowledge and skill. Okay, You're having to learn some knowledge and skill, or learning to put a learning. You could be learning how to enhance a skill as well. I don't feel no love up in here for you, Libra. <laughs> said before i feel like there's somebody who could be watching your pockets and somebody who could be uh kind of envious of you i do have the nine of sticks with the four of wands i do feel like there's somebody who could be out there plotting on you so be mindful of that somebody could definitely be out there trying to get to you We have the nine of wands and with that four of wands, I do feel like, uh, like I said, wishes are being granted. Usually when you see the wands, it's like two wands on each side, which is, uh, uh, like 11, 11, a ceremony going through a portal. Yeah. The nine of wands next to this four of wands. I don't know. I just keep paying attention to it. I don't know. So a lot of you guys could be going through some kind of ceremonial act. This could be religious or you could be like going through about to go through like um a, it could be a tough time but i feel like it's some kind of ceremonial act so it could be like school like you've been trying to get your master's and it's been hard and you kept wanting to give up it's something that you could have just kept giving up and going back for or it's just something that's been really really strenuous or it's just like hard but it's just telling you like in the end it's it's gonna work out it's gonna be so rewarding that's what they want you to know that it's gonna be so rewarding at the end okay So with your page of swords, we have the seven of baskets. So like I said, you guys could be trying a lot of new things. You could be uh, studying a lot of new skills, learning to do something in a lot of different new ways. So your focus this week really is uh, learning new things, learning how to, you know, try things differently or do things differently. Okay, so if, you, if you're trying to make money one way or you're trying to find somebody to date in one way and it's just not working out for you or you're not getting the results that you want as my favorite person chris says on youtube try a different way until you find what works for you so with the seven of baskets it's just like there's so many different ways that you can try to get the results that you want so start just testing different things seeing where the algorithm is working for you or seeing you know just going on on small dates go speed dating just try different things go out uh just try dating apps it's just like try different things to see what works for you what gets you the best results okay you also have the star with the free man so i do feel like you guys are about to go are about to start something new okay a new journey uh new opportunities arising like i said i feel like you're about to like you're being replenished so you guys are about to really step out into a lot of newness I don't necessarily feel like this is just like a new job opportunity thing like that. I just feel like you are going to be outside of yourself. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but you're getting outside of yourself, which means that you're realizing who you are. You're realizing that certain things don't deserve your company anymore. And it's just like, in order for you to go to higher heights, you're finally allowing things to be released. You're not arguing, you're not fussing, you're just letting it be, okay? It's just like, you're just letting it go, you're just walking through the door, you're just letting it go because you know your healing is greater, okay? It's gonna be tough, but it's going to be so worth it. Also, What to ignore for this week? The only thing that comes to mind for me is running back to things that train you because they feel comfortable. Okay? Running back to things that train you because they feel comfortable. Now, we talked about the four of wands with the nine of sticks, which is the nine of wands as well. You guys have wish fulfillment coming in. 
you're going to have something that you need to celebrate really, really soon. Some kind of ceremonial, a ceremonial act is going on. So you're, it's like a rite of passage that I'm being told. Some of you guys are going through some kind of rite of passage or you're about to go through some kind of, uh, teachings and learnings of something that eventually is going to have a ceremonial act to it. And it's going to be tough or it's going to look like it's going to be strenuous or it's going to take a lot of energy, but it's to build you up. And like I said, the 10 of wands comes right after that. And it's like a celebration because all that you have done, you can finally release that and build up on that ground. Okay. So you're about to gain a lot of information, a lot of knowledge. And I know the 10 of wands is always like put with something of being tiresome, tiresome or having a lot of weight on your back. But honestly, with this nine of wands, with this four of wands, I just feel like you're going to be picking up a lot of information, a lot of um, things that can help you and assist you in becoming greater and help you develop yourself in a better, in a better way. So when you get to that 10 of wands, it's just like, you're going to take those the, off your back. Cause usually the, the sticks are on your back. You're going to take them off and you're getting ready to build them up and you're getting ready to, to build on a set foundation. Okay. You have the gun and the Bible in her hand. So it's just like, yeah, I go to war behind this. I had to do a lot of shit to get to where I am right now. Okay. So like it's like a gang initiation in the spiritual realm okay <laughs> that's all i can say for you guys okay libra all right so we have the seven of coins with the ten of pentacles watch your spending watch your spending is all i can say is watch your spending pay attention to where your money is going and how you're spending it okay also for a lot of you guys it's very important some of you guys might take this into heat or you have already done it uh you might see some investments things to celebrate this week you might start seeing investments uh where you put your money to start really you know showing some kind of growth okay it doesn't mean for you to go out and pick at it and pick it up and do all this and spend it it's just to watch it okay a lot of you guys watch where you're putting your energy. Some of you guys are putting energy in dead situations as well. Okay. So you could be celebrating that you're taking your energy away from dead situations. All right. So we have the nine of pentacles with the moon card. Okay. So Libra, it's time for you to see you, see you for you. Okay. So something's about to come to light. Something is about to be addressed to you. Something is about to come to you. I feel like, uh, some kind of reward that you can't see that you don't know is there is coming as you can see she's facing this way the boat is coming from behind okay also somebody could be deceiving you as well somebody near and close to you could be deceiving you somebody from afar could be deceiving you and acting like they're close to you okay take it how it resonates but Libra, i do feel like the moon is telling you that you know You've been dealing with a lot in your in hard times in the darkness. You've been putting in a lot of work. You've been working through the night. You've been doing all this. You've been trying to dress the part. Blessings are coming in for you. All right. Then for your advice, you have the eight of coins with the with the two of pentacles. Okay. It's time to put in a lot of work. It's time to put in a lot of work to recuperate to rebalance yourself. Okay. Uh, for a lot of you guys. You're needing to study and practice, okay? Study and practice. I feel like this is more of a spiritual reading for you guys uh, who practice magic or practice some kind of spirituality, whatever it is that you do. It's like you're needing to go into study. You need to do a lot of studying and, and practicing. There needs to be a level to it, okay? I feel like a test could be coming up for you. And somebody could be waiting for some test results to come back. But it's like, have you been doing everything you want? Somebody's waiting for some results. And it's just like, you you want a certain result, but are you putting the work in? Hmm. 
You also need to have a balance in life, okay? You can't just be all work and no play as well, Libra. You need to have fun as well. You need to have a balance with your, your social life and a balance with your work life and stuff, okay? Making a plan as well can be pretty good for you guys in this time. And that's what I have for you today, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so happy to be back and to read for you. This looks like a very good reading. Looks like you are about to go on some kind of ceremonial journey. <laughs> All right, much love.